Hey y'all, so today what we're going to be focusing on is actually redundancy in sentences. We actually did this last quarter, however, when you guys took the quarter two interim, or I'm sorry, the quarter one interim, I noticed that um, we actually still had a really difficult time um, with this. Um, you guys have been trained since you were probably in elementary school to add details, add details, add details, add adjectives, add all these things, make your language flowery and pretty. Um, letting y'all know in the ACT, they hate this stuff. They want it to be as basic as possible, say what you can in as few words as possible. So you definitely need to like rethink whenever we're going through and reading things, um, what it is that you think um, is good writing. So on the ACT, there are going to be two times that you are actually going to be eliminating words. So they're going to ask you questions and basically they're going to say, one part will be underlined and they'll say, you know, which one should you put in there instead? Um, and there are two times, or I'm sorry, three times that there'll be extra ones. One, if there's more than one adjective. So pretty much um, what this means is if um, the author uses more than one adjective, remember an adjective is a descriptive word, uh, to describe something. If the author does that at any point in time, then what you actually need to do is you need to find the simplest one or only use one adjective. So um, for example, if there was a sentence that said the dog's um, fur was soft and fluffy, you would actually change that to uh, the dog's fur was soft. So you would just be using one adjective. Another time that you would actually take out of words is whenever the author restates the same thing. So pretty much what this means is that the author uses different words to convey the same meaning. So for example, you could say something like the, or my heart was beating, oh, let me spell heart correctly. I promise I know how to do that was beating fast and racing. Pretty much you're saying when your heart's racing, it means that it is beating fast. So what you would actually change that to would be just take out one of them. I probably would just say, my heart was racing. This final time is a little bit tricky. It is related to the first one where there's more than one adjective, um, but on the test, it could be a little bit tricky. Um, what they might have is actually a really simple sentence, and then the option choices will be to add more adjectives. So just kind of when you're looking at this and what this means, it's just like on the ACT, the answer choices add extra details. Um, so what you would do for that one, an example would be, let's say that you have something that's like really simple, really bare minimum sentence. It would be something like, um, I smiled. Very simple. And what they would do is they would give you these answer choices. They would say A, same as is. Uh, B, um, I smiled and grinned. C could be something like, um, I showed my teeth and smiled. Now, there will be another answer choice, but if you're looking at these as a, as a writer, as a reader, you're probably like, well, B and C actually sound a little bit better than I smiled. However, on the ACT, if they put in additional details, the answer is actually going to be A for that one. Keep it the same as is, okay? So kind of to review, guys, um, ACT, as simple as you possibly can get. Um, don't add additional adjectives. Only state things one way, one time, basically using as few words as possible to convey a meaning. Um, on the test, most of you guys did a really good job of understanding to use less words, but I still saw you people choosing ones that you added a little bit more detail. As least amount of adjectives as possible is what the ACT stands for. Um, if you're having any questions, still need some help, obviously raise your hand and talk to me. But also there are some more examples on um, both of these here that you can look at. Um, whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and work on the practice.